Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to find derivatives by using the product rule. So first I'll explain what exactly the product rule is. So if we have a function, we'll call it h of x, and it consists of two other functions multiplied by each other, so we'll call them f of x and g of x, then we can say that the derivative of h of x, h prime of x, is equal to the derivative of the first function, so f prime of x, multiplied by just the second function. And then we're going to add the derivative of the second function, so g prime of x, multiplied by just the first function, so f of x. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. It might make a little more sense this way. Okay, so our first question, we're going to take a look at a function, h of x, and it's going to be equal to x squared plus 1 multiplied by x cubed plus 2. So we can look at the x squared plus 1 part as our f of x that we talked about in our formula, and we can look at the x cubed plus 2 part as our g of x. Now all we have to do is just apply that formula I just went over. So h prime of x is equal to the derivative of f of x, so that is 2x, and we multiply it by g of x, so that is x cubed plus 2. And now we're going to add the derivative of g of x, which we know is 3x squared, and we're going to multiply that by f of x, so x squared plus 1. And now we can expand these terms, so 2x to the exponent 4 plus 4x plus 3x to the exponent 4 plus 3x squared. And this all simplifies to 5x to the exponent 4 plus 3x squared plus 4x. So that's it. That's the derivative of h of x. So now let's just check our answer by doing it the way that we know from before. So we can take our original h of x and we're going to expand all the terms. So we're going to say it's x to the exponent 5 plus 2x squared plus x cubed plus 2. And all we're doing is just expanding the terms at the top there. So now we know how to find the derivative of this already. So it's 5x to the exponent 4 plus 4x plus 3x squared. And we can see there the terms are in just different spots, but we get the same answer. So we know that this technique works. OK, let's go over another example. So in this case, our function h of x is going to be equal to x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. And you may be thinking, well, there's three terms here. How do we do this? So we're actually going to group the first two terms together. And we're going to expand those. And those will be x squared plus 3x plus 2. And that will become like our f of x function. And the second term will just become like our g of x. And all we have to do is just do the same thing as before. So h prime of x is equal to the derivative of the first function, so 2x plus 3. And that's going to be multiplied by x plus 3, which is just the second function. And now we're going to add the derivative of the second function, which is 1. And we're going to multiply that by the first function, which is x squared plus 3x plus 2. And all we have to do now is we're going to expand these terms, and then we're going to collect them and simplify. So 2x squared plus 9x plus 9 plus x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we can group these together, and we'll get 3x squared plus 12x plus 11. And that's it. We just found the derivative. Hopefully this made sense to you, and now you understand what the product rule is. If not, I'm going to be making an example video that I'll go over a couple more questions, so you should check that out if you aren't completely sure. And always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions.